Welcome guys to another uh to another video. We're gonna we're gonna be doing episode five today. Which means uh live commentary time. So uh what we're basically gonna be doing, jumping straight into it as you can already see on your screen, is we're just we're just immediately jumping into our colony building session here. So basically what I'm end up doing here is just I'm just basically retrofitting the original model I'm tweaking a couple things for example here in the utility module you can see we are um, adding a nuclear reactor for us uh, a little bit of extra power so does it need the extra power I mean in the daytime it doesn't at night though because most of the station station base ended up being solar powered I decided to add this little nuclear thing now we're gonna have to manually send a uh, uranium to the uh to minmus in order to fuel the thing but uh yep anyway so there's a there's a little modification there otherwise we're just basically importing all of the um things into our save so that would be the actual like save file up in the so it's actually in the save because i don't think we can access other saves on here so here's our uh here's our refinery section i don't actually think we need three three refinery plants that I'm gonna I'm gonna put in an extra one here I don't actually think we needed it but I I want to say that we needed it but I don't actually know if we did so that's I didn't really add anything to that one uh, this one we did add a little bit too for example this right here just so it doesn't look ugly it used the uh, the small note adapter that you can see in that like central, sec central section when it was actually like built onto the base on my test save so we just had a little thing there and then at this point I was like you know what this is looking kind of boring so let's uh let's just kind of add some th some like greebling to it I, I get this is greebling I guess this would be considered greebling maybe not I'm gonna call it greebling I added some greebling to this so um yeah basically so these are all mobile assembly plants plus a recycler for um, just getting a little bit more efficiency out of our base here. Other than that, I um, basically just ended up adding some more solar panels on the top here, so it should have all the power it needs. And if, if anyone else is wondering why there's clicking in the background, I definitely didn't just, like, play the original audio file in the background. That'd be... That'd be... I'm not lazy. Anyway, as you can see, there was a uh, landing pad there that we can also launch things from. We will be using that. And I think the final thing here is I'm adding a fifth uh, drill to um to our miner area here for um ore because we actually need ore to create like fuels from I believe I think there's probably another way to do it but this was the easiest so yeah we went with that one because simplicity is just better sometimes anyway last thing I needed to do because we're gonna match. We're gonna launch one more, one more of the Minmus resourcer up to Minmus. I don't. There's not really. I don't think we needed any more material kits. But the main reason is so that we could have these two stow packs here. Uh, the reason we need the stow packs is to carry just a little bit of uh, a little bit of machinery to the to the base because you need a little bit of machinery to uh, to kickstart it. Anyway, here's the launch. I'm gonna shut up because. I added music here, and well, I don't really think I need to say anything about the launch. I've done a ton of them in the streams, which you should watch. Anyway, I go bye-bye now. Bye.
All right, and we're back for the Minmus landing. So, yeah, basically that's uh, that's the launch. That's that I didn't really feel the need that I needed to commentate over. Uh, okay, guys, so we did stage separation, and then stage separation again, and then and then stage separation again, and then and then stage separ. Anyway, now Minmus inje injection orbit. Anyway, that that's why. Anyway, so we're coming down to our. Uh, in this area here, I I got this cool shot here. For, uh, I aimed the camera at this battery, so it looks like there's like an onboard camera. So we're gonna we're gonna come down like real dramatic. Ooh, cinema. That that target there is very realistic. I know. What? Good news. Now it's gone! Haha, I timed that well. Alright, good. Anyway, if you can notice right now how uh, how jittery the frame rate is, I'm gonna try to not do streams around this area. I think we're gonna have to end up doing streams around this area, but... And we're back up to sped up time. So, yeah. I really didn't... Okay, so here's how you... Actually, before we do anything, then I'm just gonna speed run this real quick. So this is how we do things. We show the UI, we do the thing, we finalize the build, and BAM! It's just there now. So that was quick. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's basically how we do it. Just select the craft, and just, just build the thing. All it needs are material kits and specialized parts, so... Yep. That's pretty much it. Here we ran out of resources, so we can just transfer more in, because we have three giant containers full of them just landed here. You know, as you do. Oh, a little bit of a thing happens here, I believe, if I uh, remember my timeline right. If we click Finalize Build, yep, it's kind of sideways. So, uh, yeah. That's not great. So, uh, I have we do have a fix for that. Um, yeah, so that, that's the thing that, anyway, oh, yeah, that's, this is the thing that happened, isn't it? Uh, the, we quick saved and this thing just immediately shot itself to the moon, so. It's on its side now. <laughs> anyway, so the way we fix this is, uh, basically go over to it and activate the cheats menu for, uh, infinite mass, rotate it, and then just immediately turn that off and pretend nothing happened. You're probably wondering... Why do we have to? Why do we have to turn on infinite? Well, that that disposable pad there, it it just has the weight of all of those components in it. I guess it makes sense because you're kind of like building off into that area, so it's kind of like simulating the mass of there actually being like weight there. But like, why can't we pick the rotation before we finalize? Extra planetary launch pads, please. See, this is why we need KSB two. Cause I I assume I assume it'll be it'll do that like anyway we're just extending all the things so there's the drill by the way <laughs> so uh yeah really here we are we're just constructing everything at this point not not too much to do at this point there's it and it's sideways again fun love it when the game does that so uh yeah thanks game appreciate. You just have to go out and do this thing again. So yeah, I don't suspect we're going to be doing too many streams dedicated to this area. Probably tomorrow's stream will be dedicated to this area, because we're going to be uh, doing some things with this area. You should watch, anyway. So, yeah. But other than that, I'm pretty sure we're just going to say, this is here now. So here's a shot of it. And that's the end of the video as well, so uh, yeah... Real short, real short one today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to watch more of my amazing content, then make sure you then do that. Just do it. Go to my homepage, click all the things, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!